This one is from my time in the Scouts. I was 18 at the time, and me and another Scout of my age took a bunch of 8- to 9-year-old Scouts for a two-night camping trip on a small mountain. The trail was pretty easy but unpopular. It was a backwooded area with almost no traffic. On the first day of the hike, we end up seeing no one. As it's getting late, we decide to make camp. The place we decided on was pretty far up the trail, but had a clear line of sight downwards in the direction we came from. We light up a fire and make a great feast of s'mores and sausage. After a bit, everyone goes to sleep, except for me, of course. Feeling kind of adventurous, I decide to set up a hammock a little bit away from the tents to read a book under the stars. At 10.30, I decide to call it a night, and I turn off my little pocket lamp. After my eyes get adjusted to the darkness, I start noticing the silhouette of a man coming up from the trail. He's not using a light, and I don't know why I got a pretty bad feeling about it almost immediately. I observe him as he walks up the trail, and when he notices the camp, he just backs up slowly a few steps so as not to get in direct sight of us and stands there staring at the tents. Obviously, he hasn't noticed me, and I keep watching him standing there for about ten minutes. After that, he starts backing away into the trees, takes off his pack, and sits in a crouched position still staring at our camp, almost like a beast stalking a prey. I'm staring at him wide-eyed, ready to scream and alert the scouts if he moves too close. And this sort of standoff goes until about 3 a.m. when he finally gets up. I'm completely tensed up and I see him now just standing up and staring at the tents like at the beginning. After a few minutes, he finally turns around and walks back down the trail where he came from in a very meticulous way as to not make any sound. I let out a sigh of relief but stay perched on my hammock, keeping watch until sunrise. In the morning, I told the older scout about what happened and without asking anything else, we just decide that it was time to head back. I still wonder what this guy was doing, just stalking us for hours. If you enjoyed this scary story, listen to thousands more, either over on the Let's Read YouTube channel or podcast.